What up, food tubers? Okay, we're gonna do an incredible dish. We're gonna be doing fish cooked in salt. It's epic, it's amazing, it's delicious, it's nutritious. We're gonna do it with Asian style healthy greens. Beautiful. This is romantic, it's a special occasion. This is next level. To show us how to do it, we've got the one and only Bart from Bart's Fish Tales. Woo! How you doing, brother? Thank you for having me. What I do, I travel the world to live, to fish and to cook together with the most amazing, beautiful, sustainable fisheries around the globe. So yesterday morning, I went fishing right in the middle of the North Sea and we got this bunch of beautiful sea bass and drove it all the way to London. If you know these stories behind it, it tastes even better. So we make this sea bass in a salt crust, so which means that all the flavors will stay inside. Uh, so I have a big bowl, yep. some rock salt. Uh -huh. We have a fish of uh, one, one kilo and on one kilo of fish, you use like one and a half kilo of uh, rock salt. Okay. And you use, and for every 500 gram, you use like one egg white. So we need three egg whites for this dish. Okay. Um, I've added a little splash of water. You want to make it kind of muggy and kind of... Yeah, it should stick up. to your hands. That looks beautiful. Great. Tell me about this fish. We make it an Asian style. So I cut my lemongrass a bit diagonal. I have some, some lime slices going to add into the belly of the sea bass. Beautiful. Some coriander, just fold it. First we make a beautiful, nice little bed of the sea crust. About one centimeter thick? Yeah. This should be close because you want to have these juices stay inside of the fish. Okay, so all so around So we're going now. to cover it all around, yeah. Very important. Make sure that the skin is uh, not damaged because if the skin is damaged, um, all these salty flavors come inside and will influence the, the taste. Are you happy with that? This beautiful, Jim. It is a bit like being a child again. Sandcastles. How long are you going to cook that for? So it's 190 degrees, right? Yeah. And we'll have it in the oven for like 25 to 30 minutes. We're going to make a beautiful salad. Okay. So seaweed and sea plants. Really rich in vitamin B12. Really good for your bones. It's nutritious and it's a food for our future and it's sustainable, and there's loads of it. So here we have wakame. So we get rid of the leaves. So you're using the stalk? Yes. We're going to slice it in stripes. I, I just want to show you, this is coming straight out of the sea. Here you have a pan of boiling water, no salt. You add it to the water. You take it out. Wow, look at that, it goes from brown to, to green. That's the before and after, guys. Look at the difference. Wowzers. If you go to any supermarket in the UK especially, you can get all the dried stuff in bags and you just soak it in boiling water and it's really, really good. So I've blanched these stalks for like two minutes. So Bart, shall I just prep these down so that's quite small and delicate? Yeah. So at the same time I'm boiling water here, I'm going to prep the samphire and the sea lavender. And also guys, spinach, chard, you know, all those gorgeous cabbages. You can do exactly the same as what we're doing now. Beautiful, look at those amazing colors. Okay, so let's talk about this dressing then, brother. What flavors are we using? Where's the inspiration from? Yeah, well, the inspiration comes out of Japan. So we start with like one and a half tablespoon soy sauce. Add some lemon. A bit of rice vinegar. Some mirin to make it sweet. Brown sugar, one teaspoon. Some chili, garlic too. Half or whole? Half. And we use some ginger. It's about a teaspoon. Fantastic. A whisk. Perfect. So we're going to put this onto the greens, yeah? Yeah. Add some sesame seed, roasted, white ones. Really, really good. So this is essentially going to marinate now. Yeah. And then just a little bit of lime zest over the top. That's so delicious. Look at this, guys. Whee! Asian salt crested sea bass. I just go around the outside of the fish like this. If we're lucky, what we're going to get wow. is the wow. most incredible fish. Look, Beautiful. There's your oven there, guys. I start cutting from the head side towards the tail. And now you're going to fold it open. Woo! Look how easy this meat just kind of clumps away from the bone. I'm just pushing it. Look at that. Woo! No waste. The bones actually give the taste to the flesh too. Man, we got to plate this up. Look at how juicy it is, guys. Nice job, Bart. Gorgeous miso sauce. There's only one thing to do now. Eat it. Bit so I'm going to try the fish first. Oh, the flavour is outrageous. It's so clean. It's so juicy. And then, of course, the seaweed. It's got texture, flavour. 
So there you go guys, something a little bit different. If you want to check out any more of Bart's fishtails, then go over to his channel now. Hit the box down there. Guys, if you like it, give us a thumbs up. Uh, of course, if you haven't subscribed, subscribe because it's free and also subscribe to Bart's channel as well if you love your fish. Until next time, from me and Bart, bye. Okay, How do we say bye in your language? Bye-bye. Uh, Ciao. <laughs> We use them. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Do it. Do it. Do it.